Welcome, Carlo Trenta and the pandemic. I've been educated. <laughs> I've been stimulated. Yeah. I've been vaccinated. Oh. And now I turned in my three uh, applications for a job and told them that I, w I was uh, had a fever. I was choking. I had underlying health conditions. And uh, I had lung problems. And uh, most of all, I had COVID-19. Can I have a job, please? <laughs> yeah. So they said no. So I turned in my three applications for to the unemployment center after getting uh, stimulated. I got to unemployment. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why should I go to work? Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what's going on here. What's going on here is uh, is what's going on here. The last time I found out what's going on here, I found out what's going on here. And uh, what's going on is there's a pandemic, a pandemic, a pandemic, a pandemic. because uh, I don't know what's going on. What's going on is I went to a Mexican restaurant and they said uh, orders to go and there was tablecloths on the garbage cans out back and um, I sat out there with a, uh, in, in, a, in a rocking chair and ate my taco off a garbage can lid. No matter where you go, you, the doors are locked. You can't get a seat to sit down. Well, that's getting real disgusting. Uh, when I go out to eat, I want to get a chair to sit on. Pandemic. Vote for me because there's a pandemic. Yeah, we went to China and we uh, went to hunt for bats. And when we got ba all the bats together, we played baseball. Yeah, baseball bats. Yeah, baseball bats. You ever had a baseball bat? So what we did with the baseball bats was uh, cook them up for Chinese soup. And then when we get them to cook them up for Chinese soup, then we had a pandemic. And everybody drank the soup, and then uh, they got COVID-19. So we got pandemic, uh, uh, baseball, ba uh, ba uh, 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 boiled bat soup, and, and, and it tastes so good that the whole entire... Uh, Asian market uh, went into the Chinese uh, bat uh, soup business, and uh, and the next thing you know, um, uh, it it went all over the world because you see the Chinese are famous for soup. Next thing you know, they were base and ball. Everybody was base and ball, and they all drove around in batmobiles. Then you know they were making chicken soup. It was coming from everywhere, chicken soup. Next thing you know, we had chicken flu. Chicken flu, coronavirus, and pandemic. Oh my God, what's next? Vote for Trump, you'll get a stimulus check. Vote for me. There's a pandemic out there. Vote for me and I'll give you a stimulus check. Come on, vote for me. Well, you can vote for Biden. Uh, he gave you a stimulus check. Yeah, vote for Biden. Yeah, me and my girlfriend went to the steakhouse. I took her out to the steakhouse. Boy, there was a long line. But out back, there was a uh, seating room for the dogs. Oh, one dog was sitting down, and he had a scarf around his neck, and it said Snoopy on it. And he had a pair of sunglasses. I checked his dog tag. He was from Hollywood. He looked like a star. And then there was the Hawaiian dog, the pit bull. Yeah, rah, 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 rah. yeah the pit bull. Yeah, he, 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 he ordered chicken and rice and pineapple. Uh, next thing you know, there was one more dog, and he's barking and screaming, uh, I need a dog bone, I need a dog bone, I need a dog bone. Boy, you just can't get no respect anymore. They're, 
they're waiting out back by the garbage can uh, for orders to go and then uh, pandemic dogs the uh, to go to go spot for dogs and uh, they're all drunk on uh, uh, the beer from Mount Hood uh, National Forest no I can't believe it they're all lined up there's a bunch of tents out there and they're sleeping in tents behind the steakhouse. Orders to go out of the dumpster, yeah. Ah, uh, well, boy, that looks like a good uh, potato with a little foil on it uh, with some sour cream and some chives uh, wrapped around um, a piece of toilet paper. Hey, get out of the dumpster! Get out of the dumpster, we can't serve you. You don't have a mask on. Yeah, at first I was a little nervous when they first came out with the pandemic about what kind of shot to get. So I got a hold of Ford Motor Company and they go, we got a, uh, a, a, a good deal for you. Just stick your finger in the cigarette lighter until you uh, get a big old shock and that'll uh, get the coronavirus right out of your body. Yeah, remember, just stick your finger in the cigarette lighter. I got a hold of General Electric. They said, uh, take the light bulb out of your... A light at home and stick your finger in the light socket and uh, that'll cure it right away you'll you'll be all right then I go to got a hold of General Motors and they said what well, just come down here and uh, buy one of our uh, hot rod cars and burn go out and burn rubber and smell the smoke from the rubber and it'll get rid of your uh, coronavirus you'll be uh, instantly healed yeah so don't worry about it You'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, I think you When I touch my chest, my two titties, I punched one titty, squeezed the other titty, felt pretty good. But then again, it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. And then I touched my, my asshole, and boy, that really stunk. Yeah, so I called my doctor. Yeah, I called my doctor. I called my doctor. Um, and, and he said, you better get in here, because I think you got COVID-19. We'll have to test you. So we went down, got in the car, went down to see the doctor. And he, and he said, well, uh, let me see your finger. He said, you dumb idiot. Uh, there's nothing wrong with you. You just got a broken finger. That's when, when you touched everything, it was your finger. Uh, so I went down to Burger King. It said two for one. Oh my God, I was afraid to eat it. I went through the drive through window and it says that, says that the, uh, the lobby's closed. Well, uh, I said, uh, I'll take, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, wa a Whopper uh, Corona Burger. And, and he says, hey, you want two Whopper Corona Burgers? Uh, he says, because we just don't wash our hands around here and uh, uh, when we go to the toilet, uh, we still make hamburgers, uh, but we don't, uh, we don't wash our hands or use sanitizer. So I says, uh, okay, I'll try one anyway. So I, I ordered one and oh my God, I got sick. I got sick and so I went down to the uh, urgent care. And they said, sorry, we can't help you. Um, we only take you if you're dying. Tick, 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 tick. If you hear any ticking, it's because I got electrocuted. Oh my God, it feels so good like a coronavirus should. I think I'm going to go buy myself a Corona beer and uh, I'll, I'm going to get drunk and uh, call everybody that I know that's got coronavirus and invite them over for a party. Burger, Bat Burger, Bat Burger, Bat Burgerville! God darn it, can I say it correctly? Bat Burger, Bat Burger, Bat Burger, Young Hung Hung Dao. Ching Chong Cho Ho, Bat Burger from Burgerville.
make a great coronavirus sandwich. Everybody ought to get one. But make sure you uh, get an order to go and wait in line. And then when you get done buying it, you can sit in your car and get all the mustard and mayonnaise dripping down your leg. Because uh, there's no table to eat on. You just got to uh, you know, sleep in your car and get that mustard dripping down your shirt. And then uh, call 911 and tell them you're full of mustard and you got coronavirus and you need an ambulance. If I have coronavirus in China after eating Batmobile burgers. Oh, the problem is, is uh, I've been in quarantine too long and uh, uh, my brain ain't working very good. So, uh, you know, here's uh, let's get drunk on some bat juice and uh, we can all uh, get coronavirus together on this big old uh, ship here and uh, just a bunch of drunk sailors out to sea with coronavirus. Oh well, at least we got plenty of rum and booze so we can party uh, until we get off this boat. Uh, all right, all right, all right. He said, he said, I got coronavirus. They said, stick your face in the camera so we can take your temperature. And they go, well, come back when, you, when you're when you almost dead because we can't collect any money. Uh, we can't make a dime un unless you're dying. And uh, we want to stick you in the lung machine anyway, even though you don't have coronavirus. Uh, is it okay if we stick you in the ventilator? And then uh, that way we can make a buck. And uh, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, we got to make a dollar got to make a dollar, so come back when you're dead. Put it on your nose. I says, okay, uh, how many can I have? He goes, oh, only one. All right, so they put the swab in my nose, and the next thing you know, um, I'm, I'm choking, I'm coughing, I'm sneezing, I'm spitting, and he says, uh, you sound pretty good. You might have coronavirus. Stick your head in the camera over here. Uh, and, uh, and, and we'll check your temperature. Uh, next thing you know, um, uh, they told me to stick my finger in the wall on the wall socket. And he goes, if you got coronavirus, if you stick your hand in the light socket, it'll shock the uh, coronavirus right out of your body, and you'll feel like Frankenstein. Okay. Next thing you know, I go down to the to the hospital because uh, I didn't want to stick my light my finger in the light socket. Uh, because I was a lightweight. And so therefore, I went down to the hospital, and they says, well, get in line. Well, the line was uh, so long, um, then it started raining. And then uh, my, my clothes got all wet. And when I went in there to get the, the corona uh, shot, they said, uh, roll up your sleeve. Oh, oh, they says, oh, sorry, we can't give you a corona shot because you got a tattoo of a naked sailor on your on your arm. Uh, okay, uh, come back next week and maybe we'll do the other arm. Is there any tattoos on your other arm? I said, no, there's no tattoos on my other arm. So I said, to hell with you, I'm going to go somewhere else. Yeah, we've been educated, vaccinated, stimulated, and we all graduated, and nobody wants to go to work anymore. Oh, well. You know what I think? Well, what I think is, uh... Mucho gracias, amigo. Mucho gracias. Ah, uh, oh, he ha, amigo. Uh, mucho gracias uh, to the, the pandemic, uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, educated, stimulated, vaccinated. And uh, we hope you keep working on them farms out there. And by God, somebody tear that fence down down by the border. Um, 
uh, the, the, the dream is still going on and everybody's got a right to work. So remember, educated, stimulated, vaccinated. Okay, so uh, I wanted to go to bed with my wife. We sleep together all the time. She says, uh, uh, you know, I, I can't make love to you no more, baby. You got coronavirus. Uh, well, okay, honey, I still love you anyway. So I got a parking ticket, and I wrote to the judge and said, I'm coughing, I'm sneezing, I'm choking, I'm spitting, and I'm in a walker. I'm hoping they're going to dismiss the parking ticket, and I could scare them to death so I wouldn't have to come to court. And they wrote me back and said, case dismissed. 503-860-1851, Carlo Trenta.